Hello, good morning and welcome to Thursday the 6th of August. It is Thinking Thursday. Uh, this is Get Moving. So of course, uh, Get Moving is all about helping people with mobility issues to move better, to get some exercise, get some strength, get some fitness, get a fly in your face. Um, and it's all about, we do this every single weekday at 11 o'clock. So welcome back and see you again tomorrow, 11 o'clock. So if you have a disability of any, of any kind, if you have an injury, if you have mobility issues, if you have a medical condition, anything that stops us from moving quite as well as we want, Get Moving can help you do, can help you get moving and get fitter and stronger, give you some really good exercise. Um, a common thing I'm, I'm hearing recently is um, maybe a person is too injured or something or too disabled to, to exercise safely. That is possible but very, very unlikely. Um, in every and all exercises, there is always a, a element of, of risk, as is stepping outside your front door has an element of risk, but it is worth it. It really is. The exercises we're doing today now are very simple, very effective, uh, and very safe. Um, so yeah, give it a go. Trust me, it is worth it. It really is. Anyway, it is Thinking Thursday. Thinking Thursday is where we use our brain a bit more. It's not just simply going through the motions. That's fine, but we get so much more if we think about what we're doing and know why we're doing it and plan ahead and ask ourselves, how can I do this move a little bit better? Not just mindlessly doing it, but actively thinking about improving ourselves. And that's what we do on Thinking Thursday. You're going to get a chance now to think about what you're doing and improve it. Um, I'm passing, I'm chucking around a little ball here. So as, a, as we have over the past uh, week, we're going to be using this ball in one of the exercises. So if you've got your ball, get it now, get it handy, ready, because we're going to use this halfway through the session, okay? So thinking Thursday, we're going to do all the exercises twice. First time round, we're going to, we're, it's an assessment on ourselves. We're going to ask ourselves, what are, what are our strengths? What are our weaknesses? How can we make it better? And on the second time we do it, we're going to do those things to make it better. We're going to work more on the left side or the right side or whatever. We're going to identify what we're going to do better and then we're going to actually redraft it and do it better the second time round. Because as we all know, the second time is always better than the first time. Anyway, I guess we better get started, don't I? Make sure I've got my timer. It is set for 20 seconds because that's how, how long we're going to do each uh, set of exercises. So the first uh, exercise, these exercises, as I say, is, uh, are suitable for people who are seated, people who are standing. Pretty much everybody can do these exercises and they can do them safely. They really genuinely can. Cross my heart, hope to die. Our first one is the uh, marching on the spot. So if we're seated, we're just going to march up and down like so. Get your legs up. We're not going to slump back like that. Like, like that. I say this all the time. You're going to sit tall and march on the spot, get your knees up like so. If you're standing, you're going to be marching on the spot while standing. So you're just going to get your knees up like so. As I say, first round, we're going to do 20 seconds. I want you to think about what you're doing. How is your balance? How is your strength? Is one side better or worse than the other? You think about what you're doing and ask yourself, how can you do it better when we do it the second time straight afterwards, okay? Use your brain, Thinking Thursday. Are we ready then? Marching on the spot, 20 seconds worth in three, two, one, off we go. Getting our knees up, marching away. So we can start off small if we want, that's fine. We gradually build up. But as I say, look at what you're doing. See how everything feels. Is there one side that's better or worse than the other? Can you feel it in the hips or the knees? Think about what you're doing. And that's our first round. So now we're going to do the same thing again. The second time's always going to be better. Ask yourself, how can you make that move better? And we're going to put it to the test now. Me, I'm going to get my knees nice and higher. I'm going to make it a bigger move. You do whatever you need to do. Three, two, one, off we go. Same again. Knees nice and high. For me, I'm going to get my knees higher, higher, higher. You decide what you're going to do a bit better this time round. So working on whatever you're going to be doing, could be balance, could be height, whatever. And that's time there, well done. Okay, so our next one, 
rolling the shoulders. Let me just adjust my timer because that's not working the way I wanted it to do. So bear with me one sec. This will do it better. So shoulders next. Whether we're seated, whether we're standing, roll the shoulders back. If we can, get the elbows a bit higher. If we can, get the arms a bit higher. Okay. 20 seconds. You assess yourself. Figure out how you're going to do it better. Three, two, one. Off we go. So shoulders up, back and down, big rolls or elbows if you can. The bigger the move, the better. Brushing your arms either side of your ears there if you can. That's a really nice big move. Get them up, back and down. That's 20 seconds. So you ask yourself, what can you do better this time? Uh, is it sitting or standing taller? Is it getting your elbows or hands higher? whatever you decide we're going to go again in three two one off we go me i'm going to make sure my arms brush either side of my ears either all the time brushing past my ears there that's going to help lift my arms up as high as possible because the bigger the move the better there we go that's our second round of 20 seconds well done so simple as that. That's going to be the format we're going to do all the way through. Do it once, assess, do it a second time, better. Knee bends next. So if we're seated, kicking our feet out and back, bending and straightening the knees. If we're seated, we're going to be using these muscles in the front of our thighs here. These muscles here are going to work. These muscles here are going to work. Okay. If we're standing, it's the same idea by kicking the heels up behind us, bending the knees, bending the knees. In this case, we're going to use the muscles in the back of the thighs there. 20 seconds. Again, assess yourself. In three, two, one. Off we go. So bending away or straightening away, depending whether you're seated or standing. But look at yourself. See how it feels. Is one side better or worse than the other? Is your balance okay? Do you get pain somewhere here or there? Is one side feeling weaker than the other? That's our time. So the second time is always going to be better. We know this for a fact. What are you going to do this time that's going to be a little bit better than last time? Me, as my usual thing, I'm going to try and hold my foot up there for half a second longer. Three, two, one, off we go. So I'm going to hold it up there and then down. I'm not going to let it just drop down. I'm going to hold it up and down. I'm going to hold my foot up there and down. You figure out what you're going to do better this time. We're not just going through it mindlessly. Thinking Thursday, remember? That's what it's all about. Simple, 20 seconds, job done. Okay, twists next, twists. So if we're seated, sit tall, fold our arms, twisting one way and the other way. If we're standing, exactly the same thing, except you're obviously standing. 20 seconds worth, three, two, one, go, go, go. A big twist. And a big twist. We're after the shoulders coming forwards and the shoulder coming forwards. Get as much movement out of your spine as you can. Feel your stomach muscles there working to turn the body around. Make sure. There we go. That's our time. So, again, you ask yourself, how can you make that better? A common one here, and well, again, what I'm going to be thinking about is really think about one shoulder coming forwards, forwards, forwards that's going to help twist my body around you do what you've got to do in three two one off we go so i'm thinking this shoulder comes forwards and i'm thinking about this shoulder coming forwards forwards and that's going to help really get my body round but we're all unique we're all got our own strengths and weaknesses and i want you to think of what yours are Okay, um, I'm, I'm already got next the double tap. So if we're seated, sat tall, knee comes up twice, same on the other side, twice. As always, make sure you're not going to, as the knee comes up, don't let your body slump back. You're going to stay tall while the knee moves. If we're standing, balance time. Standing tall. If your balance is a bit iffy, stand close to, but not touching, 
a wall, a table, something like that, something solid just in case. But the knee comes up twice before going down. 20 seconds worth, three, two, one, off we go. A double tap there, and a double tap there. Now this one especially, look at your body, look at what your hand is doing, look at where your knee is going, see how the balance feels, and figure out how your strengths and weaknesses play against each other. Okay, that's our time. Second time's always better. A very common one here, I don't know if you noticed it with yourself or not, but a very common one here is letting the hand come down to the knee instead of the knee coming up to the hand. Maybe that's something you want to work on. I don't know, but give it a try. In three, two, one, off we go. Me, I'm going to do a triple because that makes me balance that little bit longer. That's what I'm going to work on. A one, a two, a three. You decide what your weaknesses are and how you're going to work on those weaknesses. Because we're all, as I say, unique. Fantastic, there we go. What's next? Okay, then now we're going to do the ball exercise, the one we've been doing the past week. So if you got your ball, get your ball now. The seated dead bug. So remember, I'm going to remind you what it is. Everyone's going to be sat down for this one. Grab your ball, place it on top of one thigh or one knee there. And you can have one hand or the other on top. It doesn't matter which. I prefer the other one, but it doesn't matter which. But one hand or the other on top of that ball. At the same time, you're going to lift the foot up off the floor and push this hand down and you're going to try and squeeze that ball. See how it's squishing tight there? You're going to squeeze it and you're going to hold that. We're going to hold it for five breaths, okay? Okay, now right, get yourself ready then. So we're sat down, knee on, the knee on the ball, ball on the knee, hand on top of the ball. We're going to hold it for five breaths. And as we do it, again, think about what your body's doing. Think about where your strengths and weaknesses are, okay? Get ready in three, two, one, off we go. Knee up, hand down, squeeze the ball and breathe one breath. Two, three, four, five, and relax. And now we're gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side. So the ball is on the other thigh or the other knee. And again, one hand or the other on top, it doesn't matter which. You're gonna sit tall, the knee is gonna come up, you're gonna squish down the ball and breathe five times. In three, two, one, off we go. Knee up, press down hard, see the ball squishing and breathe, one, two, really squish it hard, three, four, five, and relax. Okay, second time is gonna be better. We're going back to the first leg again, okay? think what was what could have been improved last time for me I'm going to try and make sure I'm going to sit a little bit taller I felt like I was starting to fall back a little bit there so I'm going to say nice and tall but you think about what you did better last time and make it a little bit better okay ready last go on this side knee up hand down three two one off we go so I'm staying nice and tall one breath two three four five and then relax and then last time other side ball on the knee hand on top again i'm going to try and make sure i'm sitting nice and tall i, I don't want to slouch back last go make it good are you ready in three two one off we go crush the ball for one breath two three four five and relax that is it so don't forget we're going to be using more and more equipment for more and more exercises going forwards okay we're using the ball this week next week we'll probably use the elastic band so if you haven't got kit like this or if you're not sure about what exercise and stuff you want to, uh, exercise kit you want to get up in the links up there in the description i've got a link to a blog post where i make recommended or make recommendations of what kit you want to get. Things like balls and bands, dead simple stuff, but really effective stuff. We're going to be using more of them, just warning you, okay? 
Next one, what have we got? Squats and sit stands. So if you are seated, time to stand up. Sit tall, feet back, body forwards, push down hard through the legs, stand nice and tall, bum in, chest up, and then sit back and down and repeat as often as you can for 20 seconds, okay? As you're doing it, as always, assess yourself. What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? How, is your center of gravity in the right place? For us, if we're standing, doing squats. Feet apart, knees out, sit the bum back and down onto an imaginary chair and stand up. Again, we're gonna do 20 seconds of them. Think about what you're doing and make the second time round better. Are you ready? 20 seconds in three, two, one, off we go. So I'm squatting down, standing up. Knees are pushing out and bum in at the top. Nice and low, nice and tall. Nice and low, nice and tall. Do you get the idea? And again, see how you're doing. There we go. That's time, that's 20 seconds. So second time round, we're gonna make it a little bit better. So if you're doing the sit stands from the chair, you decide what is your strength, what is your weakness. A common thing is not getting the body weight forwards enough. I'm looking at you, Tony, especially, getting the head forwards over the feet so that you can stand up. That's a common mistake if we're doing the sit stand. If we're doing the squats, a common thing here is letting your knees buckle in and collapse in. Make sure those knees are out there. But you decide what you're gonna work on. 20 seconds, in three, two, one, off we go. So knees out, chest high, stand tall, and repeat. Use those muscles in the legs, use the joints in the hips, in the knees, in the ankles. Get them moving quite nicely, and make sure this time is better than last time. And that's it, 20 seconds, dead simple. Okay, ankles and uh, at balance. So if you're seated, you're gonna get ankle movement going, okay? So if we're seated, we're gonna get the heel and then the toe touching the floor. We're gonna bend that ankle. So first of all, the heel touch the floor, then the toe. Then the heel, toe, heel, toe. And of course, you do it on both sides, okay? Both sides. If we're standing, uh, walking alongside a table is always good, or along the back of a sofa, that's good. We're gonna work on balance with tightrope walking now. So from back here, imaginary line painted on the floor, like I said yesterday. Uh, keeping your balance, walking forwards with me, off we go. Heel, toe, heel, toe. Walking on that imaginary tight rope. Big ankle movements, heel, toe, heel, toe. Let the arms help, let the arms balance you. Work on that balance. And then the same thing, going backwards. Of course, this time it's gonna to be toes, heels. Toes, heels. Let your arms stick out. They're gonna be like those people who work on tight ropes. They've got that big stick, that pole they hold onto. Let your arms be that. They're gonna help you with your balance. Okay, that's our first time done. That's round one. As I always say, the second time was always better. So we're gonna do it again, and you're gonna be that much better this time, okay? Three, two, one, off we go. Walking forwards on that imaginary tightrope, painted on the floor, heel, toe. Wobble as much as you want. I was saying this to somebody this morning. It was a, it was a rugby player. Uh, wobbling is good. She didn't fall over, that's good. Going backwards, same thing again. Falling over is no good, wobbling is fine. Wobbling is totally okay. Toes, heels, toes, heels on that imaginary painted line on the floor. There we go, done and dusted, simple as. Okay, nearly there, last couple of exercises. Fast feet. So, 10 seconds only of this one though. Two rounds of 10 seconds. If we're seated, the feet are gonna run on the spot. Like that, making that little Tapping noise, like a flamenco dancer, it's a well-known fact. So if you're on the seated, feet do that. If we're standing, running on the spot like so. Two loads of 10 seconds, so again, first one, assess what we're gonna be doing. 
Let's get your breathing going, getting ready. In three, two, one, off we go. Get your feet moving up and down on the spot. There we go. That's round one done. So how did that go? Did you fall over? Did you get your feet? Were they fast enough? Me, I always tend to wander backwards into my right hand side. I don't know why. So I'm going to try and make sure I don't wander that way when I do this now the second time. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Off we go. Fast feet. I'm going to try not to go backwards. Ah, oh, there we go. Give them a bit of a nice little waggle. Well done. And then the last one, the last exercise, everyone's favorite, punching. Three rounds of 20 seconds. If we're seated, so it's shadow boxing. If we're seated, arms up, punch, punch, punch. Nice, big moves like so. Okay, if we're standing, same thing, but moving your feet as well. Moving forwards, moving back shadow boxing swapping your feet like so okay three rounds of 20 seconds so get ready in three two one off we go punching away again assess how you're doing it look at where your arms are going see how fast they're punching see what your feet are doing how they're moving forwards and backwards There we go. So, as we know, second time is always better than the first time. What are you going to do this time that's better? Is it going to be faster hands? Is it going to be more accurate hands? Is it going to be quicker legs? I don't know. You decide. Round two. In three, two, one. Off we go. I'm going to try quicker hands. Me. I'm going to try nice, quick hands. But you decide what your going to do better. Keep going. And time. Okay. As we all know, the second time is always better than the first. What's less well known, third time is better than the second. Final go. Are you ready? Last bit. In three, two, one. Off you go. Again, work on something make it better this time Oops. it's your last go make it good and there we go and that is it well done that is our thinking thursday fingers crossed all the way through you've had your brain working You've been asking yourself, how can I make this better? You've not just been going through the motions. You're not a parrot, you're not a sheep. You are thinking about what you're doing and actively engaging. How can I make this move? How can I make this body better? How can I move better? And that's what we do on Every Thinking Thursday. Really important part of it. And I hope it went okay for you. Really well done. So, don't forget, this is Get Moving. We help people with mobility issues to get moving. If you don't know anything at all about it, if you're new here, up there in the description, there's a link to the Get Moving webpage. www.reefitness.co.uk slash get moving. That'll teach you everything you need to know about Get Moving there. Um, it's got up there also in the description, I've got a link straight to um, my recommendations for home exercise kit. If we want to do more stuff at home, things like simple things like balls, bands, stuff like that, they are going to be really, really useful. And as I say, we're going to be using them more and more over the coming weeks. So if you want, they're not expensive at all. They're very cheap. Get yourself some simple basic equipment and we will make your body even better still. Um, up there, there's a donate link as well. This is my job. You wouldn't believe it. I actually do this for a living. Um, if you think these exercise classes are, are something uh, useful at all, there's a donate button up there, chuck me a buck. Thank you very much. It's, 
it, I mean it. I, I know I'm kind of flippant about it, but um, it really is really nice. Thank you very much. Um, and of course, down there, there's a share button. If you click that share button, it shares the button, shares the video all over the world. We've been in Peru. We've been in outer, outer Mongolia. We have. We haven't. I haven't seen a satellite photo of my face in the middle of the Sahara Desert yet. So that means that we can still send it. We can still share it out further. So I'm relying on you guys to help me with this. Share it out. I want my face on the Sahara Desert. It's not a big ask. And if I don't have my face on the Sahara Desert, well, I am going to personally blame you all. I hope you don't mind, but that's, I'm just being honest here, okay? Just being honest. Um, and that is Thinking Thursday. Not a lot of thinking there at the end, obviously. Uh, we'll be back again tomorrow. It is Fitness Friday tomorrow. And as always, with Fitness Friday, the whole idea is to get us out of breath, stay out of breath, and do it often. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so, 11 o'clock tomorrow, Fitness Friday. Get your huff on, and we'll have a good time. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you very much, boys and girls. Uh, really, I mean it. Thank you very much. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.